Welcome, friends, to a place where most Delaney shippers don't come out of alive or with their sanity still intact. The anti Delaney tag. You might ask why I'm doing this. I'm doing this because I thought it would be rather amusing and because you have to laugh at some of these things these people seriously think are actual arguments against the best TV couple of all time. And I'm not saying that because I'm biased. I'm saying that because they've just won the best TV couple of all time. Which, by the way, Stelena were up last year for worst TV couple of all kinds. So if that doesn't say it, I don't know what. Okay, let's see what lovely things we have in there today. you have to bear with me if my phone doesn't focus. Here we go. I don't understand how people can ship Delena. It's not a healthy relationship. Well, no, it's not. I admit that, but Stelena definitely isn't. The first thing they did in season five was lying to each other. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure the first thing they did to, in season five was having a lot of hot sex with a lot more scenes than Stelena had in the whole, what, three seasons or, they, or so they were together. So, you know, big lol on that. <laughs> and of course, because Stefan never lied to Elena, did he? Never. I mean, you know, it's not like she didn't know he was a vampire. And then when she knew he was a vampire, it's not like he lied to her about the fact that Catherine was her doppelganger. Oh, and it's not like he lied to her about every other thing. So, you know, because of course, Damon protecting Elena is a lot worse than Stefan lying about all of that. But you know. I respect the dears. Well, that's good. That we don't often get that. And I respect their ship, sort of. But I don't understand it. That's fine. I don't understand Delena. Stela oh my god, what did I just say? Delena. Stelena. Right. Damon did so much to hurt Elena. So did Stefan. If I was Elena, I wouldn't be with the man who... Come on, phone, focus. Focus, phone. I'll just read it from here. Who abused my best friend, killed my brother, made out of my mother. In fairness, that was before he even knew her. Oh, here we go. Threatened to break my arm and said he wanted me to die. Da Damon did bad things. I fully admit that, but... Not quite as bad as I say. But I guess Elaine is kind of dumb. Oh, okay, I'm done reading your post. Elena, hey, is done. It is the point where I'm done. So I run a porn blog. Okay, why Why would you open with that? I'm not sure why you're proud of that, but you know. I've just seen a Delena photo of them having sex, because what the fuck else do they do? Well, they do a lot out more else, and you're just jealous because the only Delena scenes you get is, let's see, stroking each other's faces and having sex for the first time to a song about self-harm. It's so romantic, isn't it? And it occurred to me that the only Stelena gifts or pics I see on my dash there are the cuddly, lovey, romantic ones. Doesn't that say to you, dears? Dears. No, it doesn't. Probably not, because most of them are very young and immature. Um, I know, like, a lot of people that are in their 20s and even 30s that ship Delena, so, you know. You don't need chemistry to have sex. I disagree. There's got to be some chemistry for you to want to, surely. You need chemistry to have love. There is love. You don't need sex to have chemistry. No, you don't. But that doesn't make sense. Right, let's see what this is. You know, when you really think about it, it's Elena's fault fandoms are at war right now. Okay. Elena is a fictional character. Fandoms aren't. So, you know. I mean, if you close her leg for ten fucking seconds and stop fucking with the brother's emotions, we wouldn't have this problem. Oh, you have gone too far. Way too far. Elena Hay is the point where I just can't anymore. I know, but Delaney is always rail against the cheesiness of SC, so I'm guessing D seen on the couch before Silas burst in too was met with lots of rolling eyes. That wasn't cheesy. <laughs> Couldn't believe there's an anti Stefan tag. <laughs> so you can't believe there's an anti Stefan tag. What else do you think people would post? You think nobody doesn't like Stefan? 
It's alright, because compared to the anti-Damon tag, half the people on there are just Stefan fans. Wondering how anyone can hate Stefan and what their argument is. And the anti-tag is just anti-Damon peeps. No, you go into anti-Stefan and it's basically the whole time is... Anti-Stefan things. That's what it's for. Why Stefan stands with post in the anti-Stefan tag doesn't make sense. Okay, so here's someone com comparing Klaus and Camille to Delena. Okay. Maybe not. Let's not even go there with that. Not gonna touch that. Klaus is not like Damon and Camille is not like Elena, so you know. If it's Stefan that Catherine is still in love with, I'll never stop laughing. Well, it will be Stefan. It's not going to be Damon, for goodness sake. She never loved him in the first place. Right. Everybody's saying about how Ian said one thing against Damon. That is fine. Ian is an actor. He has his own opinions on a show. If he thought that something was stupid and he said it, that doesn't mean we're going to turn around and hate on Ian. And we're not going insane. People are just really liking that. See, why is there a Delena edit in the anti-Delena tag? Just because it's them being angsty? Sorry. Right. Let's see. Ha! People are saying that there's a reunion in the... Paul said there's a reunion in the 100th episode. Bring your tissue if you love the characters from the past and present. You may potentially cry. That is not going to be Stelena. It's more likely to be a dead character. Or dead characters that have come back for a while. <gasps> what if it's Mama Salvador? No, no. You can't get your hopes up, Geordie. Anyway. Can we stay out of each other's tags? It's really annoying. That's very true. Waiting for that day when Elena breaks up with Damon. Yeah. <laughs> you might be waiting a while. And even if they do have wait, have breakups, it they are never. It's never off the table. Ever. Right. I was beginning to think Damon has an obsessive problem with Elena. It's called love. I don't know how people don't ship Elena. They're epic. <laughs> Are you being serious? That's just a load of pictures that aren't loading because my tab doesn't like loading pictures. I'm not entirely sure what I'm waiting for anyway. Dreaming about love like Damon and Lainus. Can someone kill me, please? I don't understand how someone can be so stupid. Well, that basically sums up me when I'm looking in the anti Delena tag, to be honest. Loads more pictures of stuff that won't load, so it's more pointless looking at it. Right. Some may say TVD is the story of Elena falling in love with Damon. I say that she's fallen in love with Damon. She's made that clear, but now what? She's fallen in love with him, and that's... But what is there to it? It's so boring. Who says she can't fall out of love with him? You mean what happened to Stelena? <laughs> and it's not just some that may say that. L.J. Smith said, the author of Vampire Diaries, the creator of the characters, said, Some may say TVD is the story of Elena falling in love with Damon. Hmm. That's amusing. Right. <laughs> Delena and Caroline aren't the same. Klaus respects Caroline's choices, at least. <laughs> So you're saying Claroline is a more healthy ship than Delena? What are you guys taking? And we're supposed to be delusional? Christ. As much as I miss Alaric, I don't want him back because of his obvious character assassination. I know the real Alaric isn't okay with Delena. Yes, he fucking is. You didn't write Alaric, did you? See, they're now hating on all my favourite characters and this is where I get annoyed. Hmm. Hmm, I would ship Delena if Damon wasn't such a dick. Okay. That doesn't make sense. 
When every every time a Delena fans go on about love that consumes you, I think of this. Well, it is kind of quoting the thing. Cough, cough, epic love. Let's find. Love's not meant to consume you. Well, it is. Oh, these people don't even know what love is, do they? Oh, dear. Things are getting boring now. There's not much more. I'm not even that worried about Delena anymore. Dear Delena stands, it's called Shippers by the way. Your ship is sinking faster than the Titanic. No it's not, love. That Delena has sank, so you know. Fair play. The real curse of the doppelganger is Damon. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, let's find. I love memory loss, Stephanie. He tells Elena exactly what's wrong with Delena. That Elena does not make her decision anymore. Something she always did when she was with Stefan. Well, I do remember that Stefan, with memories last year, kept making jokes about the sire bond. And rape jokes. <laughs> so funny. Hmm. Okay, that's too long. I'll probably just end up shouting at it. That I'll just shout at that too. Hmm. Let's see. I think it's kind of going. Because most of it's gone. Clace and Delena shippers. When someone you follow on Tumblr for Clace reblogs Delena, how can you ship something so damn perfect and also something disgusting? Uh, Clace and Delena are actually very similar, guys. I hate to break this to you. Hmm. Elena's fucking jealous of Stefan. I can't even. She isn't jealous, my love. Not in the way that people are saying it. She was worried about him. Am I the only one? I got hella pissed off at Elena. Yeah, well, half of these supposed Delena shippers seem to be. Delena has just been failing this season. Well, at least we don't have to have hallucinations just to get a scene with them. <laughs> this is so fun. I'm going to stop right there because I don't think anybody's going to watch much longer. But I hope you enjoyed that because... I did, but also, it kind of killed me. Maybe next time we'll go on an anti Damon track or something because that is sure to get me really fired up and that could be interesting. Now remember kids, sleep tight and stay out of the Delena tag. It's not focusing. I want to do a dramatic ending. There we go, the Delena tag. Dun dun dun